The following is intended for mature audiences only. Viewer discretion advised. Because I come in when I want. Hey! Hey, she's going out the window! Hey! Hey, she fell out, she threw out the window! Hey, I'm the fuck down, my dude. Hey, man, bro. Man. Why the fuck would you jump out the window? Nah, that's Tank right there. I believe it, I'm through it. I knew who to talk to, didn't I? Hell no. Nah. Tank, man. man Good job, man. Get my dude. Hey, shout out Tank, man. You know man, he's shout man. out, man. It's your boy Rambo hey, Kurt, man. Hey. Bro, where is she at? Like, stop playing with me, man. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. Right, Open up the door. door. Open up the door. Open it up. Man, you you come here, too, bro. We don't come in here disrespecting we, me. I didn't. I didn't disrespect you one, one time. Hold on. Um, the way that you would just approach me. Get up. We don't. You know we hey man, to hey, we that, just bro. came here and left. I understand. You're dumb as fuck, dumb bitch. He's a motherfucker. Bell bond. Bell bond. I mean, I know it looks like dope boy money, but it ain't dope boy money. Nope. He ain't here, man. We, we here to have a here. Hey, what? I told your ass, stop playing with me. If that's what the Lord wants to happen, just let it happen. He got a warrant, open up the door. You got three seconds. One. Two. Open up, woman, kick the door in. You got five seconds. One. Two. Three. Nah, I'll come in whenever I want. What I really want you guys to understand, for those that don't, we are not police officers. We don't pretend to be, nor do we want to be police officers. We are bail bondsmen, insurance agents. When defendants get in trouble and can't afford to get out of jail, they call us. We put up the money with guarantee that they appear back to court. If they don't appear back to court, the court notifies us. They give us X amount of days to return them back into custody. If we don't, we lose money. And we're not losing money, which is why we're on the hunt. You got five seconds. Kick in the door, the four, four. One. Kick in the door, in the four, four. What would you do if you loan somebody $10,000? Kick in the door, Kick in the door, the other side. We on the other side. Side you don't hear about. <laughs> yeah. Gucci Prince left on the front door. People are still playing with the church's money, man. It's crazy. You think this shit is a game? You gotta start season five off in one of our favorite cities in the world, Toledo. <laughs> Y'all already know when we start off in Toledo, it's gonna be crazy. We got three people all over them on some bullshit. We're gonna try to get us at least one. We down here all day. So we're going to try to at least go home with at least one person a day, man. But y'all know what it is. Nobody gets away. We still got a couple people from last season we're looking for. I know y'all know what it is. Sometimes it takes a little takes a little time, man. So we out here, man. Come enjoy, baby. <laughs> season five, motherfuckers. What's happening, y'all? So, the first person we're gonna be going after is a Corey Jones. Now, for what I hear, this guy doesn't take things pretty serious at all. Uh, young kid, you know how the young ones is. Um, he might be tied up in some gang activity. Um, he's been contacted, said he was gonna do the right thing to himself. Actually, my apologies, that's the next person. This guy was contacted, he pretty much just blew off everybody and didn't give a fuck. Um, young cat out of Toledo, Ohio. You know how the young guys is. They think everything is a game. This is who we looking for right here. Corey Jones. All right. 
Right, he got a uh, it's a tattoo on his neck. I'm not really sure what that is, but y'all can see that right there. I think I can say something. Yeah, they didn't put it on the app. What's on his neck? We got a uh, good thing about this. We got we got multiple co-signers. So we got we got Alexis, who is a friend, and then we also got a uh, a Victoria, who's the mother-in-law. All right. All right, so let's make our way over there. They already been worn, so this is not one of those. Uh, well, it'll still be a cordial, but I'm gonna be a lot stern. It's the church's money, for God's sakes. <laughs> yeah. Y'all out here fucking with Thanos bacon bits, man. <laughs> Thanos need his bacon. Y'all fucking with the church's money, and that means Thanos can't get his bacon. And when Thanos can't get his bacon, <laughs> he's not a happy dog. What's up, man? You know who stay next door? You know who stay back here? Nah, I don't need to get back there. All right, y'all. Um, nobody was home, so we're going to come back. We got time. Like I said, we out here all day. So we'll come back here. We're going to hit another address now, which is supposed to be the, the signer. So we're going to take a ride to the signer's house now. We're looking for Alexis. Alexis, we are. She don't live here. When did she stay here? Uh, probably a couple months ago. How long has she been? What's your relationship to her? Why? Who's going on? What's going on? You said just a friend? Oh, yeah. How long have you been known her? Well, her mother lived with me, and she never did live here. Okay. She was just staying here? she come in when her mother was here, yeah. So her mom stayed here? Her mom used to. How well, long has Alexis. it been since her mom? I told her out a couple yeah. months ago. You know well, where Alexis. they are now? Yes. Yeah, over on the... Uh, right, she co-signed? For a guy, Street. I need an address, bro. I don't know the address, okay, hold on. but I know they live on Clark Street. This is uh, a boyfriend. 
Is his name Corey? Yeah. Yeah. yeah they stay Corey. together at the house? I don't know. Corey's been here before, yeah. Uh, okay. Honestly, I don't know. I towed him out of my house because he's sitting here using me and everything. I, you know, Do you know how to get there? Yeah, I know how to get there. Okay. So you guys, what's one? With Jessica. No, I don't want to ride with you. I'm going to say I'd ride with you and show you, but. It's, we don't even have any room for you to ride with us, to be honest. Uh, we don't even have any room for you to ride with us. You'd be stuck in the I don't trust that dog either. Well, he's not going to mess with you. It was because of the little dog. Let me see if I can get my car started. I've been having a problem getting my car started. I mean, if you want to slide in, you it's going to be a tight squeeze. I'm going to give him some gas. He's going to show us where the sign of lives. Give him a couple bucks for some gas. Looking for Alexis. I'm her mother. Where is she at? She is not here right now. You know if she's coming back? Nope. Can you give me my phone? Oh well, wait. I'm looking for a boyfriend. He's in Texas. That's not her boyfriend no more. Her mm -hmm. Corey? Mm -hmm. He's in Texas. Texas yeah. where? For, as far as I know, his grandma, He's because he was staying with his granny, that's how my daughter met him, was like in Toledo, because he had family down here. Mm -hmm. And as far as I know, she stays in Fort Worth, Texas. His grandmother? His grandmother. And he that's where he, he like his grandmother took custody of him when he was younger. This is a story that I'd be told. So how long has it been since he's been down here? He, he left, okay, he was in jail down here. And then my daughter posted like a bail thing for him mm -hmm. or whatever. And then my daughter told him, told the bail bondsman to take him, take her off the bail thing because he's gonna run. Mm -hmm. She told him that. She said because I was on the phone with her when she was talking to him. She said he's gonna run. Natalie, come on. She said he's gonna run. He's gonna run. He's gonna run. He's gonna run. Mm -hmm. And they put a handcuff on him, I guess, or whatever. When they took him down to the bail bondsman before they let him out, and he ran. When he came home, he ran. He didn't show up in court. So he's been in Texas for like, yeah, since he's been out, maybe like a week or so after he got out of jail here. And he was in jail for like a month here. I just know about Corey's granny. That's Did he used to stay him. out there with his grandmother? Yeah, he used to live, he, that's where he, like he went back and forth. Like he went to school out in Texas, came here. He stayed with one of his cousins here. Her name was Jordan. Okay, gotcha. I don't know her last name. Jonathan, okay. I think. Okay. He stayed there, he, she raised him. She used to live on Tecumseh. She raised him, he went to school here. Then he went back to Texas because I guess he had gotten in trouble here. And so he went back to Texas, went back to school there, and then I guess he got in trouble, so he kept like coming back here, coming back and forth to... When you get when you get in contact with her, tell her to call me. Um, that way I gotta come back here and bother you. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. right, thank you. Yeah, but he is in Fort Worth, Texas, so. Okay, thank you. That's the farthest I know. I don't know. I know he has family that lives in Arizona, but don't ask me what part of Arizona they are in. But he, but, but he typically always goes back to Texas. Yeah, he always goes back to Texas with his granny because he's like a, basically an only child with his granny. Okay. You know, like his granny raised him. And gotcha. So his okay. grandma gives him everything. So. Gotcha. All right. Guys, I'm calling the hunter out of uh, Texas. It's the second person that ran to Texas. Kerry ran to Texas too. Um, now Texas has different laws, so not to say we can't go out there. It's just easier to find a hunter out there to find, you know, to grab them. So um, now that we know he's in Texas, I'm gonna contact some hunters out there, and uh, we'll see if we can get his ass back up here. Hello. Uh, bad news for you. What? He he ran to Texas. Who? <laughs> Corey. He would have. The good thing is. Are we, you fucking kidding me? The good thing is we know he's with his grandmother. Now that's the good thing. He's with his grandmother in Texas. Wow. So that's not gonna be hard to find an address because he's lived there before. So all we gotta do is run his name. The address is gonna pop up. So I'll call the hunter. See how far he is from Fort Worth. Um, this might not be as hard as the other one, but he is in Texas with his grandmother. Okay. So, so you said you said you said he stays with the girlfriend. That's what she told me Friday. I said, "Where is he staying at?" She, I said, "Is he staying with you?" And she said, "Yes." 
Oh, she, she just think nice. she just think you ain't you ain't gonna do shit. That's all. Right. Okay. Yeah, that's what it seems like. Oh, so she okay. cussed you out and said she ain't doing shit. Yeah, she's not paying shit. Fair she's enough. She's gonna give you your money and that's it. That's kind of what she said. Gotcha. I said give me eight thousand dollars. <laughs> you know, they think that paying me the eight hundred dollars is, uh, is saying something. You know. Right. 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 Okay. No. All right. Well, okay. I'm, on, I'm on my way to the BM house. They weren't home. It's definitely her uh, apartment, which we have right to go into. Um, what I did was I opened the window. So if they do come home, they're going to close that window. I know someone's there. So right now, we're going to go grab something to eat real quick. After we eat, we'll come back, make a stop back here, see if they return home, and continue the rest of our day. Mine in the front. Yeah, we looking for Trayvon. Oh, he ain't here. He don't live here. How long? He ain't lived here in like six months. For real? Yeah. Okay. You know where I can find him? Hey, that's why I told his ass I want to sign for him when he just burned it out. Mm -hmm. Just told his ass. Why well, I just say, hell no. Cause you know it around here. Huh? <laughs> well, it's kind of fucked up. <sighs> Didn't he just get out of jail? Yeah. And went on the run already. So this is this kind of mess up. I see you pregnant. I mean, I don't want to bother y'all, but oh, you no, you're good, you're good. You don't yeah, but, you uh, but look, this is this is the address he's giving everybody. So though I'm cool, there might be other people coming back, and they ain't gonna knock. I don't know. I don't, I don't know that's it. That's okay. Ask. No, I'm saying I don't know okay. where she stay at. No, I ain't uh -huh. worried about that. I'm just saying, but that's where he stayed with his baby mama. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, thank you. I leave y'all fucking alone. I appreciate it. It's nothing like when the plan works out. As I told you guys, having patience will allow you to be successful. And because we had patience, we waited. We didn't blow the address. The signer's back.
We want to make sure that I hear him. I want to make sure that he's in there. Luckily, I hear his voice. And that was super important to surround the entire building, so he has no way out. Right from downstairs. Who? Right from downstairs. Who's that? Is Trayvon home? Who? Trayvon. Who? No. Who is Mike from downstairs? Can you open up? Can I open up? Yes. For what? This is the bell bondsman. Open up the door. Open up the door. No, I'm going to kick it in. What's going on? He got a warrant. Open up the door. You got three seconds. One, two. One, two, three. Court officer. My baby. Window, window. Hey, go! Hey, hands, hands, hands. Don't be fucking with the trenches, man.